All right, today's video is all about how to use the sum and cumulative sum function in R. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start off by creating a random vector. I'm going to use the sample function and let's say uh, values between 1 and 10. We want to have or we want to pick five different values and set replace to true. And now to calculate the sum, we basically use the sum function. And in this case, we get a sum of 11. Let's generate different sample data. This time we have a sum of 26. However, it's important to note that the sum function only works when we have valid data. So for example, if I go ahead and for example set um, the third value of our vector to not available, and I'm now going ahead and try to calculate the sum, we are going to get not available. To avoid this uh, frequent error, we can say na.rm for remove. And if we set it to true, we can still calculate the sum. Okay, so let's look at the cumulative sum. Let's create some more random data. Okay, and now we can go ahead and use the cumulative sum function. And we pass y as a parameter. And now we get down here the cumulative sum. However, when we work with the cumulative sum, we cannot use the na.rm parameter. So when I set, uh, for example, number 4 to na, and I'm now going to use the cumulative sum function, you're going to see we are summing up the values until index 3 and index 4 is not available and therefore from index 4 on we only get not available. So if you want to use the cumulative sum function make sure that all the data you work with is in fact valid. Alright, so that was pretty easy. If you are interested in learning more about R and R Studio, feel free to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.